The next point I would like to describe about video circulating, जिसमें उनका हाथ ऐसे हिल रहा था So there are three chances of uh, that thing to happen. First chance that he is alive. Second, post cadaveric spasm. Third, rigor mortis. So let's go from back to front. Talking about rigor mortis, it is that thing just my body ke proteins uh, coagulate ho jaate hain. So the muscle proteins are coagulating and they just get stiff. That is this the whole heart, not just the this finger. The whole hand will get stiff. Okay. And second point, it occurs after four to six hours of death. Okay, so uh, if we see that his ligature mark, which was here, even that was reddish brown. I have seen cases, and the ligature mark doesn't turn red immediately. It turns red after about five to six hours. Initially, it's just a mark, uh, maybe yellowish or that sort. But later on, it turns that dark. Secondly, if it is rigor mortis, the point that supports is that it is four to six hours. In India, especially, it takes with the temperature, this climate we have, the tro the tropical climate, it's around six hours for rigor mortis to develop. Okay, so that will tell ki the murder has or the death has happened much before. Okay, so fine. The second chance is that it's a post cadaveric spasm. For post cadaveric spasm, first thing is that it does not occur in front of your eyes. It keeps जिस पोस्चर में मरे उसी पोस्चर में रह जाता है हाथ ठीक है सो इट इज एंड सेकेंड पॉइंट इट इज एंटाई ग्रेविटी दैट इज इफ ही वॉज हैंगिंग ओके इफ ही वॉज हैंगिंग हिज हैंड वुड बी टूवर्ड्स द ग्राउंड ठीक है ऐसे हैंग करते हैं सीधा तो इट वुड बी टूवर्ड्स द ग्राउंड इट वुड नॉट अंडर गो कैडवर एक्सपैज सेकेंड सो दैट मीन्स हिज हैंड वॉज अगेंस्ट ग्रेविटी ऊपर को उठ रहा था दैट मीन्स ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू सेव हिमसेल्फ तभी ऊपर पुल करने के लिए दूसरा पॉइंट इट हैज टू हैपन um if there is excessive emotional constraint like somebody is drowning and he is holding on to someone to something to save himself the pani se bahar nikalne ke liye so hand stiffens like this so that tells us ki what was the condition in which with he died that is the position which the life changed to death so that doesn't have as a movement it it's visible on the time of visit when we see the patient for the first time that it is in that position so it was not the case in this condition because it was moving it was not in the position so it is if occurring that means that uh, he was trying to save himself anti gravity the third chance that can happen is he was still alive if he is not able to move and he is still alive chance his brain was completely depressed not the psychiatric depressed the medication depressed cns depressant was used that includes sedatives excessive sedative could be used which would depress the brain and slight movement possible so much depressed that if you call it respiratory depression you can't even see the uh, chest moving at times you know so that means a very common thing is what we call as a day trip drug where it comes as rohypnol triazolam which are sedatives that is given in and the patient goes so much into sedation that sometimes if the patient wakes up he doesn't know what happens it's a safe drug that if the patient survives also uh, he would not be able to remember what happened uh, though it requires a doctor's help to acquire such medicines so i guess that ruling out the first two it's i it's not post cadaveric spasm it has to be rigor mortis in that case he's been dead for 4 to 6 hours or if he was still alive that means he was heavily sedated with a cns depressant i don't know what happened my uh, eighth take is that if he was dead we as a doctor as a resident doctor okay i would be i would be scolded so bad if i even if i knew that the patient is dead brought dead to the emergency i had to ensure four things before declaring death or probably five things but four things personally upon checking the patient pupils which has to be dilated and fixed uh respiration there is no respiratory movement stethoscope se heart rate there is no heart sound uh fourth is that uh, we give out an ecg 
okay we take an ecg where the patient's uh, ecg is flat line okay and sometimes a fifth condition where you uh, where you check a pulse of that patient uh, just may you know so if there is no ecg uh, pulse is the utmost importance where you check the pulse here even mild presence ensures that you have to do cpr you can revive the patient completely being a young there are chances you know so these five things are necessary to ensure and if that was not ensure how could they uh, wrap the body up in a bed sheet as if he's a dead body he has to be rushed to a hospital before declared dead or a doctor called upon before declared dead and only then the body wrapped up only then the crime or suspected situation of death to be touched otherwise it's not even allowed legally to touch a body if especially at such under such circumstances you know so that's my uh, um you know seventh uh, eight point so nine point is nothing specific it's what the public already knows ambulance mein le jaya gaya i don't know already tired as if he is dead okay you are not to call a person dead unless and until proven and no one checked okay so he could have been revived if he was alive could not have been also but could have been and so ninth is everything that people know ambulance ko change kiya gaya body ko positioning change ki gayi post mortem hua panch baje ke baad special magistrate se permission chahiye that all stuff that already public knows and i'm so uh i'm so beautifully um, surprised ki we as a public and everybody has gathered so much information my 10 point is that i am giving a di- differential diagnosis uh, a differential thing to this death that i would not term it a suicide unless and until proven the only thing that supports us if he has a proper psychiatric history and even if he does every psychiatric patient does not end in suicide it can have various manifestations every disease of psychology or psychiatry does not end in suicide there are different things that person can manifest he could get delusional he could go hallucinatory he could have a breakdown many things सीधा विदाउट एनी ऑफ दी स्टेप सीधा सुइसाइड पे वो भी डबल अटेम्प्ट एक सिंगल डे में आई नेवर एक्सपेक्ट आई हैव नेवर सीन इट दो आई एम एट अ स्टिल एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ माई करियर बट आई डोंट थिंक दैट एवर हैपन्स सो दिस इज इट आई एम नॉट इम्प्लाइंग एनी थिंग आई एम टेलिंग माई पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आई टोल्ड वॉट एज अ मेडिकल पर्सन आई कुड से एंड माई फाइनल थिंग इज की he has been sedated because certain sedatives are not detectable in peripheral tissues even if post mortem he was sedated and then he was hanged or strangulated uh even if he was hanged he was immediately brought down they didn't know that he was still alive they thought he is dead because he was not moving but there are other things to prove he is dead which was not proven maybe when hand started moving they realized and they did something about it what i have still no idea but one thing i want to say is that the person who circulated the videos the photos i personally think he had a better or good intention and i want to thank him because if they wanted to cover it up the person would not have posted the video that proves that the person knows something special but to get the person was well wishing